Hey everybody, Aaron here in the illustrious Aaron Toons studio. And I am here today with another video. This time I'm going to talk about talk boxes. I play in two tribute bands. Uh, one is a Bon Jovi tribute band called Non Jovi, nonjovi.com. And the other is a Scorpions tribute band called Second Sting, secondsting.com. And in both of those bands, I play songs that prominently feature the talk box. This video is about how to use it in the larger sense. Um, I'm going to talk about the things that I've come across in almost 10 years of using a talk box in every single gig. So here is what I take to every gig. It, I have everything I need for my talk box in this pedal train bag. And uh, that way I can just grab it and I know I have everything I need. Um, here's the tube. Here's a short patch cord. Here is the adapter with a little pigtail so that I can plug it in without having to take up three spots on a power strip. And last but not least, this is the talk box I use. It's a Rocktron Banshee, just the, the normal one, not the Banshee Plus or whatever. And of course, I've put my settings across the bottom and I've adorned it with a, a cool sticker. And this, uh, this thing has been used and abused and played on uh, every gig for the last uh, seven or eight years. Um, this is about where my settings are normally. Nothing too fancy. They're all kind of about two thirds of the way up. And uh, yeah, so let me get this thing set up and then I will talk more about how to use it at a gig. All right, so I have everything all set up and very quickly, just in case you don't know, the way this talk box pedal works is basically within the pedal, there's a speaker that's pointed straight up. The tube plugs in to a receptacle that's right above the speaker and then snakes up and comes out right here. So you have that sound going through this tube, coming right out the end. You put your mouth around the tube and then you can articulate that sound like this. And that's basically how it works. So for example, here is this riff. Here's another good one. Or the ones I play, the one I play in uh, Second Sting is this one. That's another hazard of using a talk box is you use the talk box and your mouth fills up with spit and when you pull away from the talk box it's just slobber everywhere. You just have to deal with it. It's going to happen. When you set a talk box up in a gig situation there's a bunch of things that you you need to know. First of all whenever you can have it set up on an SM57. The reason why is because the tube comes straight off the mic. If you if you try and use a ball end mic like an SM58 or something else, then the tube ends up pointing off sideways and it's very tough to get your mouth around it and then back in front of the mic. So whenever you can, set it up on an SM57. In principle, you want a vocal mic and a talk box mic separately. And when I play larger venues like casinos or whatever where they have the sound and the system really dialed in, I'll usually ask for that. A lot of them that we play regularly all already know that and they just give me two separate mics like a 58 for our vocals and a 57 for my talk box. Other venues, you still want to do that in principle, but the reality is the sound man doesn't know your material. And a lot of times if you give them two mics, 
they will turn the talk box down because it's they're right next to each other and it's picking up your vocals. So they'll turn this off. And then when it comes to the moment in the song where you want to hit your talk box, there's nothing here. And you end up playing a uh, solo with no volume and everybody's looking around like what's happening right now. Um, so in situations like that, I just say, just put the tube right on my backup vocal mic. That way it's always on and that never happens. Uh, a lot of times that means it ends up getting on a ball end mic and it's awkward, but you know, that's, I'd rather have it awkward than have no talk box solo. The other thing about mics is you always want to make sure that your mic stand is locked in solid because if you don't, as you try and put your mouth around the tube and, and in front of the mic, the mic will drift and you'll end up chasing the mic around like a, like a large mouth bass trying to grab a lure. You're just chasing the thing all around and it's, you can't reach out and grab it because you're playing and so you're just kind of chasing after it, which is just dorky. I love doing the talk box though, because every time you step on it, you always, you look out in the crowd and you can see every guitar player in the crowd turn to their non-guitar playing friend and start explaining to them how a talk box works. It's hilarious. Every gig I see that. The other thing I see when you kick on your talk box is that everybody's like, ooh, something different and interesting is happening and they start taking pictures and then they post them all on social media the next day and they all look like this which is like stupid embarrassing. So th there's nothing you can do about it. Just be prepared for the public humiliation of again, looking like a large mouth bass with a big hose coming out of your mouth. It's, it's just, it's just the nature of the beast. It's a, it's a, it's a job hazard. Uh, what else? Uh, in a real gigging situation, if you're a germaphobe, forget it. This thing, after a, a, a year of using it, your hose is going to turn green all the way inside of it, and there's nothing you can do about it. I've tried cleaning it. It doesn't work. Uh, you know, you're setting up stuff. This hose is going to end up getting laid on the ground. It's gonna, it's gonna, you can br bring Lysol wipes or something, but if you're a germaphobe, just don't use a talk box because it'll drive you crazy. And those are my tips for using a talk box in the real world. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or experiences of your own, stick them in the comments. I'd love to read them. And if you'd like to hear any of my original music, make sure and go to AaronTunes.com. Uh, please subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you next time.